Hello, and welcome to Three Blind Mice Window Coverings. Today I'm going to talk about the most common options available for plantation shutters. So the first thing I like to talk about is just your louver size. So as we can see here, we have some of the most common louver sizes. Here is a three and a half inch louver versus a four and a half inch louver. The larger the louver, the larger the view between louvers. Another advantage of larger louver sizes is that when you close them, you have less light leakage because there's less moving louvers in there. For example, you have the three and a half and the four and a half. And then over here, you don't see a lot of these on the West Coast. This is a, mainly an East Coast option. This is a two and a half inch louver. A lot more louvers, a lot smaller louvers, gets more closer to the um, wood blind category, but they are available. We also have a five and a half inch louver available as well for really tall windows and windows that have very deep sills. The difference between the sills is because the larger the louver, the more space you need to go back to the glass. The next thing we'd like to talk about is what's called a tilt rod. So you have a standard traditional tilt rod here, which goes up and down. And basically what that does is so when you move one louver, they all move together. So the tilt rod there. And again, you can see that up here. You have a standard traditional tilt rod versus what's commonly known as the hidden tilt rod. Now there are a lot of different companies that make hidden tilt rods and there's a lot of differences between the two. So as you can see here, this is a single piece metal hidden tilt rod used for these. Now some of them on there, excuse me for just a second. So if you can look at this one here, this has a nail in it, okay? Some of them use a screw to hold the tilt rod on. Those are the two differences to that. Some of them you will notice that have this, particularly on the wider ones, they'll have an actual hidden tilt rod on both sides. That's to help it from binding up. So again, you have traditional or a hidden tilt rod. Personal, it's just uh, aesthetic value. Some people like the traditional look. Some people like the new contemporary look of that. Next thing I'd like to show you is uh, what's called the mouse hole. And what the mouse hole is, is just where the tilt rod goes up into the area there. The reason why we cut this out is so when the tilt rod closes, it helps close the louvers tighter, blocking out more light. So this is what we'd call a traditional uh, mouse hole. On this panel here, you can see we've done a decorative. And so what we've done is we've cut out a nice diamond arch, Liberty arch, companies use different names for it, but here you just have a nice decorative look to it. And that allows the tilt rod to go all the way up, but not just have the small mouse hole at the top. Next thing I'd like to talk about is frames. You've got lots of different choices with frames. Here is a standard one inch frame. Now this one here is what's called bullnose because it goes over like your bullnose drywall. Down at the bottom portion of this, we have a beaded frame. So this is just converted to a beaded frame just for a little better aesthetics. Then if you come up here, you can see there's all kinds of decorative frames too. Now these frames get wider and they have more details to them and there's lots of options available for those. Each manufacturer has their own choices for that. You can see while we're here that there are different choices for hinges. You can have your white standard white hinges. You can have the stainless steel hinges. You have antique brass hinges. So if we step right on over here, you can see some of the differences we got here. Stainless steel, brass, antique brass towards the bottom there. And again, these are all options available with your plantation shutters. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about quickly is how your, what's called panel configuration, how your panels open. So everyone's familiar with your typical shutter panel that opens up, that just one side opens up. So that's a single panel. When you have larger windows, you have a double panel. And this is what we call left-right configuration, meaning that one opens from the left, one opens from the right. So this is a standard single and double panel configuration where they just open up from the middle. Certain applications you'll want to do what's called a bifold opening. Now this looks just like this, however this opens completely differently. This bifolds, so one panel folds on the other. The reason for doing this is space. Sometimes you may only have wall space on one side. Here I can bifold the panels, hang them off to the side and have a complete open window. They are hinged on to each other and slide right back into place. So aesthetically you get the look of the left right panel but you have the space to put everything off to one side. Next option we have it's what's called double hung and what double hung does is this gives you the availability to actually open a top section of shutters separately from the bottom section. 
Now this comes in very handy when you have low windows with high furniture. So if this was in your living room and you had a sofa that came part way up the window, you'd never be able to open the shutter panels without completely pulling the furniture out of the way. This option allows you to do that separately. So you can have the bottom shutters open separately from the top shutters. That's called double hung. Sometimes it's called cafe, but what a real cafe is, is when you only have two panels. So if these two panels were not on the shutter and you just had this lower portion, that's what's called cafe. That's typically used in breakfast areas. So where you wanted to cover the area from people walking by on the street, still have your privacy, but still have all your light come in from the top. That again is called a cafe shutter compared to the double hung shutter. So those are some of the most common options available in a plantation shutter. If you'd like more information, please give us a call at 800-828-2003, or you can reach us online at www.3blindmiceusa.com.